A daily mud report, also called a DMR, is the primary method of communication between drilling fluids companies and operators. The objective of this video is to describe 10 main sections of a typical DMR. Drilling fluids are a vital part of drilling operations. They transmit energy to the bit, remove drill cuttings, and maintain a stable well bore, among other tasks. It is the mud engineer's responsibility to check mud properties and then document the results and calculations in the DMRs. There are 10 main sections of a typical daily mud report, which we will now discuss section by section. The header of a DMR contains general information and indicates the type of drilling mud used. The three types of mud are water-based, oil-based, and synthetic. The string and hole section information is used to determine pipe and annular volumes, affects the tracking of chemical concentrations, and includes BHA and pump information. The drilling, volume, and circulation section displays the surface weight readings, volumetric capacities, and the time and number of pump strokes required for certain flow paths. A daily mud report tracks usage and details for solids control equipment. The physical and chemical properties of a drilling fluid are of utmost interest in the DMR. These properties are the primary variables that can be altered rapidly for improved drilling efficiency. Multiple samples are often taken each day to analyze solids and calculate hydraulics. Some primary characteristics of a drilling fluid include the mud weight, which controls the hydraulic pressure of the well bore, the plastic viscosity that governs the fluid's ability to flow, the yield point, which is a measure of resistance to initial flow, and the gel strength as a measure of how easy flow is initiated after sitting static for a period of time. Keeping track of inventory is key to cost containment and supply reordering. The inventory and cost of all products used, services, and engineering are tracked here. Individual product, daily, cumulative, and other costs are calculated and displayed at the end of this inventory table. The table of recommended tour treatments and remarks contains the comments the mud engineers record. Additions, losses, and transfers to the mud system are recorded in the volume tracking table. Balancing the volumes ensures the accurate tracking of chemical concentrations each and every day while drilling. The hydraulic section displays annular hydraulics for each geometry in the well bore and the bit. Details related to the laminar versus turbulent flow regimes, fluid velocities, and equivalent circulating densities can all be found in this section. These numbers significantly affect the likelihood of taking kicks or losses, bit optimization, and other important drilling considerations. The solids table tracks low and high gravity solids, which indicate the level of cuttings, bentonite, and other weighting materials in the mud. The time distribution table communicates which activities the rig engaged in that day. Accurate and timely dissemination of the data captured in a daily mud report can keep operations on track and on budget. DMRs are critical for communication between drilling fluid companies and operators. We all know that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. In the oil and gas industry, the shortest distance between rig activities monitored by drilling fluid companies and operators is the daily mud report. We hope this video helps make traveling this distance efficient and easily understood. At PVI, we provide the most advanced mud reporting software in the industry. MudPro helps to ensure quality data is collected, analyzed, and distributed to all parties. Please contact us or visit our website at www.pvisoftware.com for more information.